Hello, and welcome to today's episode of The Joy of Chong. Today, we will be painting a picture of something I think will be very relaxing to all of you trolls out there. That's right, you guessed it. A bridge! <laughs> oh, sorry, sometimes when I get a little bit emotional, my voice gets quite trolly. Thank goodness, though, we have a sponsor of the day. The Boiling Bunion. Yes, thank you for the Boiling Bunion. The Boiling Bunion has has sent me a nice cup of Smooth Juice. Smooth Juice helps us trolls keep our voice a little bit calmer when we get a little emotional. Let's try it out. much better. All right. So for our painting today, you're going to need a few supplies. You will need a paintbrush. Now, if you don't have a paintbrush quite this size, you can use a larger or smaller brush. It might take you a little longer to paint, but that's just okay. You could even use a few nose hairs taped to a stick if you really must. Now we will also need a cup of water for cleaning your brushes, a paper towel for drying your brushes after you rinse it, and you will need these paints. Now you can put your paints on a fine piece of trash such as this one. I traded four toe hairs to a toad for this, so it better work or he will not be seeing my business again. As for the colors, today we will need red paint, green paint, blue paint, brown paint, and white paint. That is all the supplies you will need. Oh, you will also need a piece of paper. Very good, let's begin. So in order to set the scene, for a beautiful bridge. <clears throat> we will begin with a little touch of blue. Now we're just going to swipe this blue all over the page, kind of as if you were smashing a bug around a piece of paper. Yes, we're going to cover the whole top of this paper with this gentle, gentle blue color. It's okay if it's not perfect. And it's okay if it's not beautiful. Because as long as you're building a bridge, everything will be fine. And yes, we're just going to keep going. Adding little touches, little smushes of bug, Yep, just gentle little smashes of blue into the sky such as this. Yes, if you have not guessed it, this is our sky color. Now, if at any point while you're painting along with me, you decide that you feel like you might need to add a little bit extra of something, or you feel a bit inspired to add or not add some color. You can feel free to do that at any time. Because we trolls do whatever we want. And we don't need anyone to tell us what to do. So, do feel free to do as you wish. So long as it relaxes you. I find that I enjoy eating some worms while I paint sometimes, but that's just what relaxes me. Worms might not relax you, and that's okay. Yes, we're just gonna keep smashing the paint into the paper, smearing it around, just like little bug guts, all over the paper, until it begins to look up 
a bit like a nice sky. Now, I'm not going to completely fill mine in because I'm going to go back and add a little bit of clouds to the sky. Yes, clouds will set a very nice setting for a beautiful troll town. But if you do prefer, you can add storm clouds. You could add, oh, let's see. You could add a bird. You could add a plane. Or just keep it as a plain old plain sky, just like mine. All right, very nice. I think that's quite a nice looking sky right there, don't you? Now I'm gonna keep a little bit of white in here because you know how when you look up at the sky and there's just a little bit of white peeking out? I'm just gonna keep that part right there because I find it quite relaxing. Now I'm gonna dip my brush in my water down here and I'm going to clean it off and then I'm going to dry it on a paper towel and then I'll move on to the next color. So right now I'm just cleaning it off, rinsing it in a little bit of water. Now make sure you don't dip it in your smooches because you might be tempted to see what happens, but it will not make your smooth juice any more delicious. All right, I'm moving on to this nice green here. I quite like this green. It reminds me of, um, it reminds me of like a caterpillar, all smashed up. Reminds me also of like a little bit of a booger. Yeah, it's very relaxing to look at. All right, and now we're going to add some hills in the background. Now how you add a hill is up to you, but I'm going to just add a hump, and a hump, and a hump, just like that. But if you choose to make different sized hills, smaller, bigger, it's all up to you. This is your painting, and I hope you feel so relaxed while you do it. Yes, there's nothing more calming than smearing around some colors on a piece of paper, just like so. Although. Building a bridge is quite relaxing as well. I, I think that might be a little more relaxing than this, but that's all right, because we're building a bridge in our hearts. Yes, every day we do what we can, little by little, building a bridge in our hearts. All right, I'm filling out the hills just like this, just so they look beautiful and green, like the inside of our noses, or maybe in between your toes. Here we go on to some nice big green hills. In the background, with a little bit of sky on top. Oh, we got a little blue in there. That's all right. We're just going to blend it out, blend it out. Yep, once you just smear it all around, it's all art. Very good. Oh, a little blue in there too. That's all right. We welcome it. Hello. It's all right. Just a little sky in our hill, a little hill in the sky. It doesn't matter because we're building a bridge. Here we go. Very nice. All right, now I'm just gonna work down with the green, down, 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 pull it down, 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 down to make some nice grass in front of our hills. That's right. So we're pulling our green down, down, down. Yep, just smearing it around. Pulling it down for a nice big hill with some beautiful green grass in front of it. Now, don't you worry. If this is a little too beautiful for you, Let's go back and add just a little bit of dirt to our painting. You can put dirt wherever you like, actually. Sprinkle a little dirt on top of the painting. A little dirt in the sky. Maybe a little dirt under the bridge. Definitely some dirt on the bridge. You're always going to want to have a little bit of grime in your brush. And that's okay. Whatever relaxes you, relaxes you. And that's just fine. All right, our hill's starting to come together here. Looking very, very hilly. Very green and grassy. You can see there's some, some brush strokes in there and that's just great. We love a little bit of imperfection in everything we do. We love a little grime in our lives. And let's see, oh, we'll keep going with the grass here. So just keep pulling it down, pulling it down, pulling it down, smearing it all around. Yes. 
whatever inspires you as you paint. I like to think of my favorite trolls while I paint. Because nothing inspires me to build a beautiful bridge like the people that I'll be underneath of it with. I also like to think of the people walking on top of the bridge and how much money they will be giving me when I yell at them. Yes, nothing's more relaxing than collecting a nice troll toll from beneath a bridge with your close friends and family. Very cool. Alright, this is looking quite hilly, so I'm gonna just add a little bit of grass down here. Just keep going like that. And it's okay if it's not totally perfect because everyone knows us trolls is not perfect. Very good, though. Nice looking scenery right there. I find it quite relaxing. Alright, I'm gonna rinse my brush again in the water. Yep, just cleaning it out. And drying it on that paper towel again. You wanna dry it as best as you can, but it's okay if it's not totally dry. Alright, let's see. So we're going to add a little bit of pizzazz. And by that I mean some mushrooms. So we're gonna go into the red here, just a little dip in the red. And I'm gonna show you how to paint a mushroom right here. It's a very simple shape. We're going to do, let's see, we're gonna wait for it to dry just a tiny bit. So we'll go back up to here and we'll paint very small half of a circle like this. Half of a circle. Very good. Now it's okay if it's not a perfect little half circle because mushrooms aren't always perfect and we like that about them. I'm gonna go back up here. I'm gonna add another half circle color here. And over here as well, wherever I feel like it just, just needs a little pizzazz. We'll get in there. I do like this color of red here. Well, it kind of reminds me of the gunk between my toes. And kind of reminds me of a little ladybug crawling across my pillow. And crawling across my plate from time to time as well. I do enjoy eating ladybugs. And I'm sure many of you do too. As you can see, not all of these little half circles are perfect. And that's just fine. You can even just dot them on there if you want. Like this. Dot. 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 Mushrooms come in all sizes, so we make them small. And we make them large. And we make them small. And we make them large. I'm gonna put some really big ones as we come up closer here. Because this is the front of our painting. And back here is kind of further back in. So I'll put the big ones up front to show that they're very close to me, as if I'm looking at a beautiful little red mushroom. And then back here, maybe I'll put some really tiny little mushrooms. Yes, very good. Very nice. I went a little crazy there with that one, but that's okay. Yes, very good. All right, so these are the tops of the mushrooms, as you can tell. So we're gonna clean our brush. And we're gonna go back in with a little bit of white. So let's clean our brush, dip into the water, try to get all of the color out of the brush. You should notice that your water is starting to turn a beautiful shade of grayish brown. And that's just great. Yes, it looks like a nice murky, muddy swamp. And it's quite relaxing to us trolls. All right, we're gonna go back in with a little bit of white here. We're gonna dip into the white, just like that. Just a tiny bit on the brush like that, or if you have a smaller brush, it'll be a bit easier. And you can get in here, and we're gonna make a stem by going like this, straight line. Yep, that's right. Just a little straight line, a straight line, and they'll get smaller as you go back. Very nice, just keep adding little straight lines to get the general shape of a nice mushroom. Very good. I like that one quite a lot. Yes, these remind me of what I had for breakfast this morning. I was going to have mushrooms for breakfast, but then a little ladybug walked right across my plate. And I just thought, you know what? Why not? 
so I ate that little amoeba and let me tell you it was relaxing all right we're almost finished remember these ones are a little bit bigger so bigger little stem very good very good all right now we're gonna stay with the white here because we're really just enjoying that color now I'm going to show you another motion that we're going to do to add a little bit of detail to this relaxing painting. We're going to go in there and go like this. Smash, 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 smash. Very nice. And you're just going to do that all up here to make a nice, wispy little cloud. Yes. Just a little bit of smashing the paint into the paper. Continuing our theme of smashing the record. But this time, we're smashing and creating a little bit of a cloud for our relaxing theme. Very nice. I think it's starting to look pretty nice. Our mushrooms really do pop out, don't they? Very good, very good. You can add clouds of all sizes. You can put them wherever you like, or you can put them exactly where I'm putting them. It's up to you. Like I said, you do whatever you want. You're a troll. Alright. Very nice. Alright, now that we've smashed some paint into the paper to make these clouds, I think it's time for a bridge. <clears throat> Alright. Let's get in there. So, clean off your brush again. <clears throat> clean off your brush again and dry it and now we're going to use this nice beautiful shade of brown yes beautiful shade of brown the color of many things beautiful like bridges for example and we're going to go with a big half circle swipe so let me show you that we go like this big half of a circle like this like kind of like a rainbow or like a bridge very good and if you don't get it right the first time we just build off of it because that's what we do when we're building a bridge yep you just keep on building it to your liking however you like your bridge to look some people don't like their bridge to be this small some people like a giant bridge some people like a bridge. Some people like two bridges. We're just gonna keep smearing that thing around in a nice half circle. Whoop. Getting a little crazy there. It's all right. We're crazy. We're trolls. Very nice. All right. I'm feeling pretty good about this bridge right here, but I don't quite feel finished with my painting. So let's see, I think I'm going to go back in and add some detail to these mushrooms. I'm going to use, let's see, I guess I'm just going to clean my brush. Go ahead and dip it in that, wa that water, that muddy water. Rinse it all off. The water should really be a beautiful shade of dark, dirty brown. Well, more like kind of like dirty gray, dirty grayish brown. And it's beautiful. All right, beautiful. Now we're gonna dip into the white, just a tiny little bit, and add some dots. Dot, 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 dot. Dot, dot, dot. Now you can see they're not all perfect, and we like that. Dot, dot. If you don't feel like all your mushrooms need dots, that's okay. I think some of these smaller ones can do without it. Maybe this one will add one more. And you can put those dots on whatever mushrooms you like. You do whatever you want. But I don't have to tell you that. You're a troll. Alright. Now I'm going to clean my brush. 
and go back in for the final detail, which is one of my favorites, a signature. So I'm going to dip in the green because it's my absolute favorite color of them. And I'm going to go back in here and sign the bottom, Schmab Ross. That's my name, Schmab Moss. Sorry about that. Here we go. Beautiful. And there you have it. It's so easy to paint, isn't it? I hope you really felt relaxed while you were painting this beautiful, beautiful bridge. And I hope that you're happy with your bridge. Have a great rest of your day. And keep on trolling.